The embassy of Afghanistan has decided to end its operations in India, citing lack of support from the Indian government. Muhammad Mazu will be sworn in as the new president of Maldives. He is from the opposition party, which has a very pro-China tilt, and he has promised to remove Indian troops stationed in Maldives. Indian Army has unveiled artificial intelligence controlled 7.62 mm Dragon off sniper rifle in Guwahati that will take its capabilities to new heights. 96% work of the strategically important Sailor Tunnel is complete and it will be inaugurated by end of 2023. India's new space research and technologies has tied up with the Japanese firm to create the autonomous swarm systems for disaster management. DRDO's Defense Food Research Laboratory has innovated eco-friendly biodegradable water bottles that is compostable and will help to lower the overall carbon footprint. The navies of India and Singapore have signed joint operating procedure for submarine rescue operations. The Director of Avionics and Weapons Systems at the Aeronautical Development Agency has said that it will take 18 months to roll out the first Tejas Mark II aircraft, and the first flight will take another six months, which means that the long-anticipated Tejas Mark II aircraft could finally take its maiden flight by October 2025. He also said that around 90% of the components will be indigenous, and this ambitious project involves 300 public and private institutions. He also added that the Tejas Mark II is 20% larger than the Tejas Mark I, has greater capacity, state-of-the-art avionics and greater range as well as higher weapon-carrying capacity. The Indian Navy has decided to fund the development of indigenous electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear systems, in collaboration with Bharat Electronics Limited and several private sector companies, that will be integrated into the proposed 65,000-ton third aircraft carrier. The Indian Navy will soon initiate feasibility studies with multiple partners to create a scale model that can serve as a technological demonstrator followed by development of a full-scale land-based system, which would later be integrated into the third indigenous carrier. Several private sector companies including Bharat Forge Tata Defence Larsen and Tubro and Dardani Defence are expected to participate in the 1200 next generation towed gun systems requirement of the Indian Army. The Army has released the required specifications, that includes 15-ton weight limit capability to use long-range ramjet-powered artillery shells, laser-based ignition technology, software-defined radio, inclusion of a hybrid drive system to move from its firing position, lithium-ion batteries to enable silent mode operations for stealthy maneuvers, integrated fire control system, a robust global positioning system and inertial navigation-based sight system. The Indian Navy is exploring the integration of low-cost loitering munitions on frontline warships that will have the capability to identify high-value targets and then destroy them. It will have the capability to target sea-based threats like unmanned surface vessels and ships with high precision. It will also have the ability to disrupt an enemy warship's radar surveillance and communication systems, leaving it vulnerable to subsequent missile attacks. India has issued a no-time warning for an upcoming missile test that is scheduled to take place between 5th October to 9th October. The designated testing area covers a range of 2,000 kilometers, which could be another test of the Agni Prime next-generation medium-range nuclear ballistic missile by India's Strategic Forces Command as part of the user trials phase, before it can be cleared for production and operational deployment. At a time when the Chinese Xi Yan 6 scientific research vessel has entered the Indian Ocean, naval experts have said that Chinese vessels are surveying vast regions of the Indian Ocean under the garb of conducting scientific tests, and the data gathered would be invaluable for the Chinese nuclear submarines to increase their activity in the Indian Ocean. 
Chinese survey activities near Andaman and Nicobar aims at finding the U.S. Navy's fish hook sensor networks, that is designed to raise alarm when a Chinese submarine enters the Indian Ocean.